Hey everyone, welcome. I am just doing a little bit of a different episode today. I'm just going to ramble and talk, not for too long, just on the future of the, uh, well, the episode's coming out. So basically, my plan is to release the Empire campaign as our next story-based campaign. And it's going to be a little slower release than usual because I want to take the time and add you know, intros to every video. And that takes a bit of time, especially with school. So that's what we're gonna do. I am also going to release a secondary campaign off to the side. I think it's gonna be Republic at War at this point to make sure I still get three episodes out a week so you're not stuck with one episode a week. The Republic at War campaign is gonna be a non-story based. You guys can still write stories, go nuts. Like I will, if you want your characters added in, I'll add you in, but I'm treating it as a as a standalone campaign, just for me to muck around and see if I can defeat an Admiral AI in Republic at War and go as fast as I possibly can and just lob units at the walls and see what happens. That's what that campaign is for. So that's the plan for the future right now. Uh, also, this, yeah, that's, that's basically where I'm sitting at right now. The Empire campaign is our story based. I went back and checked the vote I did a while back and it won by about 61% of the vote. I do know people want a Thrawn's Revenge, and Thrawn's Revenge is on the table. It's on the menu, boys. I'm just waiting for a proper gaming desktop, because my poor little laptop here, it's a brilliant little computer. It can't do Thrawn's Revenge at the highest graphics setting, and I recorded an episode of Thrawn's Revenge for the New Republic campaign, and thought, okay, we'll do this. However, we already get into, like, serious mid to late game lag in the battles themselves, in the first episode, like the first episode, we attack Bill Bringy to take on Thrawn. And each of us are bringing a full stack fleet to bear, plus his defense stations. And it it's a really fun fight, but the FPS goes to about 3 FPS per second. So I thought, okay, Thrawn's Revenge has to wait for a minute for me to get my desktop. And that should be coming sooner than later. I've, I've got my eyes set on one. I just need to get the courage to go grab it now. But it's, it's, on, it's, it's locked and loaded. Anyways... That's all I really want to talk about today, and yeah, that's basically what I wanted to say. I hope you're okay with that. If you want to add your characters to Republic of War, go nuts. Feel free, and I will very gladly add you in. Just be warned, it's brutal. The campaign, like, we've lost a lot of ships already, and I'm on episode two. We've lost heroes, like, it's 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 a lot more faster paced than what we're expecting. Anyways, thank you so much, everyone, listening to me ramble, and I will see you all in whatever episode comes out, so, uh... I guess my trademark saying is, Glory, long live the Empire! Ha <laughs> ha! up. Group one, get over here. Group one, I need you on this mess. Bombers. Ready. Good job, bombers. Good job. Ozzel, I'm sure you'll be fine. Good, the Providence is down. Group, you think you can run from me? Patches is gonna get away again. What's that Venator? The Venator's got engines! Destroy it! Everything. Sorry guys for the pausing, but... Everybody bring the engines down on this thing! Engines. 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 Okay, Venator just straight up died. Engines! Good engines. We took some damage, but we we good. 